for our next magician to step up and try to fool Penn and Teller. I've been fortunate enough to be constantly working and in high demand for the last number of years. Overall, I'm a pretty happy guy, except for my social circles. This is Matt King. This is Eric Mead. This is Vinnie Grasso. Magicians, you may not have noticed, but they have Fool Us trophies. And you also may have noticed, I do not. And trust me, not five minutes go by without them rubbing my nose in it. Every week, we play cutthroat croquet. Off cars, in the street, off pool toys, trees. Play it where it lies. If I don't come away with a trophy of my own, the ridicule will be ruthless and never ending. This is in no way facetious. The pressure that I'm under is unbearable. This is my one shot to shut them up. Penn, Teller, the stakes could not be higher. Give it up for the comedy magic of Nick DeFox. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke. Hi, right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, before the show, I made a prediction. Oh. Rolled it up. Wrote something down, rolled it up, taped it to the mic stand. No one's touched it since before the show started. Okay. The staff has been guarding it. Ooh. And we've never met before. We have not. You didn't write down any personal information that could have been secreted to me. I know nothing, as usual. No. Brooke, <laughs> in your loudest, most clear voice, all you have to say is yes or no, and be honest. Okay. Is your phone number 909-334-2900. That's because it's mine. Oh, that's yours. Well, thank you. And the rest of the ladies are thanking you, too. <laughs> Look, uh, yes. people come up to me after shows. They see me do magic. They come up to me. They go, uh, how much of this is real and how much of it is fake? How much of it's just a put on? And the answer is uh, all of it. <laughs> all of it. It's all fake. I don't have any real. Well, I have, uh, I have one superpower. I can tell the expiration date of any item. Really? If anyone, does anyone have a gallon of milk I could borrow? <laughs> We've been sitting here for a minute. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's use, I, I don't do pets anymore, um, but I do, I can do relationships. Like how long have you folks worked together? Uh, 48 years. 48 years? What's the date? <laughs> you know, we'll move on, Never mind. Um, I, I'll tell you what, do you, <laughs> Brooke, do you have yes. anything government issue on you? Do you have, like, your ID? I do chance? have my ID Could on me. Could you pull me. out your ID? Uh, don't show it to me. Okay. Uh, I don't you... have any pockets, so I actually do have my ID. I won't look. <laughs> I will <laughs> use this blindfold of modesty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, would you take a look at the expiration date on your ID? Don't show it to me. Okay. And remember it. Okay. I know that's kind of the tough part. And would you hold it face down? Hold it face down so I can't see it. I will okay. take your ID. I'm going to cover it up so okay. that neither of us can get to it. And would you hold out your right hand, kind of like a crab claw, like, th like this, facing down? Perfect. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's kind of weird. Uh, pinched on top. Okay. Okay. I'll come over here just so they don't think we're in cahoots. We're going to go for the month first, okay? Okay. You're going to guess the expiration date of my license. Of your license, which I've never seen before. He has not. Um... I'm gonna say January. No. No, but it, it's a but eh, it's a it's a uh, it's a cold month, colder month. In Could be. It depends where you are. Certain places. We're gonna also count that as a hit. Um, <laughs> listen, I don't need this. Okay, I babysit on the weekends. This isn't it for me. Okay. <laughs> Stable income, Brooke. Yes. We're gonna go for the year. We're going full balls to the wall. We're gonna do it. Okay. Go big. Go. 20, is this expired? No. No? no. It's 2014. <laughs> 2014 is expired, right? It's not 2014. And you check? Do I'm you sorry. To... Is it even here? Do, could you turn your hand over? Sure. Turn your hand over. Is it even yours? <gasps> That's not even my ID. Well, whose is it? Uh, Shoot. Think, How did you get that? <laughs> That's a little embarrassing. This is my uh, fifth grade ID. I'm not quite sure. I'm sorry. It's not. I'm sorry. And there's nothing else inside the handkerchief? Um, I'm a little freaked out, though. How did you get... Because I, I consider I myself fairly muggable. 
Like I, I didn't do that. <laughs> like, no, like I'm, I'm actually freaked out about getting mugged. I know a couple of you are chuckling, but that's like I realized that I dressed today. Like I, I looked in the mirror downstairs and realized that I'm dressed like I'm running for student body president. But it's okay. Um, but I'm a little freaked out that you got this. Um, only Me too. because I do you, like. If you were trying to get my ID, where would you assume I kept my ID? In your wallet. My wallet. Do you want to see where I actually keep my ID? Sure. It's a thing I came up with. It's called a back wallet. Okay. It's not a real thing. I'm trying to pitch it. But it's a wallet. Uh, it's not a very clever title, but it is duct tape uh, onto my back. This is okay. not the most flattering look on the planet. No. Not super easy to pay. Would you help me out? Just sure. peel, peel the wallet off. Okay. Perfect. You can leave the tape where it's at. Okay. Inside the wallet, we take a look inside. <laughs> oh, God, I've taped it shut. Uh, inside of the overly secure snap fastened pocket, would you pull that out? Sure. Show it around to everybody your face, your personal information. That's my ID. Well, all right, Nick, let's find out if you fooled Penn and Teller. Awesome. You ready? Ready, boys? Hey, Nick. Hey. Boy, you got a great look and a great style. Thank you so really, much. Really, really nice all the way. <laughs> and this is a fascinating uh, trick. You know, we've seen the card in the wallet before, the right. card in the back wallet we hadn't seen. So we were, <laughs> we were a little stuck on that for a moment. But what's interesting about this for those who study magic is how important choreography is. Everything you did looked completely natural and more important than that, necessary. You didn't do anything you didn't have to do for the trick to be the way it was, but we believe that was very, very carefully done and very sneakily done and very well choreographed. Thank and you know, Nick, I have my phone right here in, yeah. my, in, my, in my pocket. And when you exposed what I thought was going to be Brooke's phone number, I took the, um, well, <laughs> I took the rather creepy liberty of programming her I'm not number that easy. I'm not that easy. into my phone, just thinking it might be useful maybe in the, in the future. And then you, you can imagine my uh, chagrin when I found out it was actually your phone number, but I apologize. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to call that now, anyways, uh, Nick. Uh, uh oh. Oh, it's going to your. It's going to your voicemail. Yeah. So I'll just leave a message. Hey, Nick, this is Penn. Penn and Teller, fool us. Uh, I don't think you fooled us. What do you think? Uh, I think you guys are hip to my jive. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sir.